This is a stealth MP5 class setup that you need to try right now. If you guys are huge fans of the MP5, being as stealthy as possible is definitely its strong suit thanks to some particular attachments that make the MP5 very effective. For me personally, I am a solo player, so I like to remain as stealthy as possible. So that's why stealth class setups personally do best with me. Let's get into the attachments really quick. So for our barrel, we're running the monolithic integral suppressor. The reason why I chose this attachment over the subsonic integral suppressor is because because with the monolithic, the bullet velocity definitely does make a huge difference in helping your bullets connect a lot faster to the enemies. You can go ahead and try it yourself and you will notice that the bullets do hit a lot faster when you do have this attachment on here. And plus, it also gives us a two for one with that sound suppression, which also does help us in our cause in remaining as stealthy as possible. So moving on to our stock, we are using the Forge Tag Ultralight stock. Now, if you've been following my channel for quite some time, you guys already know that I am a huge advocate of the no stock stock attachment however on this particular class setup the forge tag ultralight is definitely superior because it does match with the play style that you're supposed to be using this weapon anyway we're most likely going to be engaging in medium to long range gunfights it does help you with that aim walking movement speed and it helps you be more evasive by strafing left and right all right so moving on to the rear grip of course we're going to be using the stippled grip tape for faster aimed on sight speed as well as a faster sprint to fire speed for our ammunition we are running with the 45 round magazine so lastly for our under barrel we're going to be using the merc foregrip this one will allow us to control that recoil from long range as well as some flexibility for a tighter hip spread so that we can hip fire our weapon with a lot more accuracy all right so another key component to this class setup is going to be using the eod perk this one will save you a lot of unnecessary death from when enemies are using explosives on you perk number two is also important because we're going to be flanking around the map and the last thing that you want is for the enemy to pop a uav and you're all by yourself you're basically going to stick out like a sore thumb and you're going to be an easy target so that's why you got to run ghost now for perk three we are running with tracker because we're playing with a flanky type of play style here we're going to be as sneaky as possible so being able to track down your enemies by looking at where their footprints lead to will give you an easier time to locate the enemies resulting in easy kills all right so for the next portion of this video i will be explaining my thought process and breaking down my gameplay of how i use this exact same class setup and use it to its advantage while playing with a stealthy and flanky type of play style make sure to leave a like if you do want to see more content like this in the future so i know that this is the kind of content you want to see and subscribe if you're new around here guys we are really close to 90,000 subscribers i would really appreciate it if you could join turbo nation today make it official in joining me on my journey to 100,000 subscribers i would really love it if you could and i appreciate all the support you guys have been showing me lately it really means a lot to me so i'll see you guys in the gameplay peace Yes, we're playing it on Ramaza once again. The reason why I'm bringing this specific gameplay is because I'm actually struggling and it would not do you guys any justice or learn anything from this video if you guys were to watch me do a flawless gameplay. Yes, those videos are beneficial as well to show you how to stay alive. But the main point of this video is to show you how to adapt when you're faced with adversity. And that's what makes a good Call of Duty player a good player because they know how to adapt in certain situations. Now, if you've seen my videos before in this map, you know that I like to go into the cafe. So I'm going to do what I normally do. But of course, I'm going to be struggling here, as I said. So I don't push right away. I like to check my corners to make sure there's no enemies. Now, I did notice this guy. I tossed that C4 to push him to the other side. And that's why I moved here. I noticed his footsteps and I jump around the corner for the easy kill now i'm gonna close that door so that they don't shoot me while i'm reloading and now i'm gonna pop out right away just to get a good vantage point of their spawn now the reason why i don't push right away is because look at where my teammates are right now they're all behind me i got one teammate up there it's the beginning of the match as well and i do not want to push their spawn because i'm simply gonna be outnumbered so what i do is i'm just patient i'm waiting and i know that there's somebody here and that's exactly the same person that i killed earlier the reason why i'm rotating to this part of the map is because I know that he is focused on me right now. I want to keep the enemy guessing and by putting myself in this area here, I'm able to cover more ground and make sure that I don't get flanked. As you can see, this area is empty. I've got a teammate behind me here. So that only leaves this area to be inhabited by possible enemies being there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the area momentarily. I see that it's clear. So I'm going to quickly go up here to the market rooftop to get a different angle. Now, as I approach here, my initial plan when I came up here was was to check their spawn from a different angle. I want to get that high ground and good vantage point. Now on my way over, I also did notice an enemy right there. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to close this door. But unfortunately, there was an enemy here in the corner and it was just way too late. So here I am again. I'm underneath the cafe. I'm looking into their spawn once again. I did notice this guy right here. So again, I'm trying to switch my location, get a different angle on the situation and try to outsmart the enemy. Unfortunately, he did notice the door open and that was his cue to turn his attention in that direction. Now, at this point, I know that going to the cafe is not a good idea. So I go ahead and switch my plan up and I'm going to try to flank around and try to get a different angle once again. Now, on my way there, I was killed once again. So I'm struggling a little bit here. I'm looking at the minimap. My teammate just died and I'm turning my attention in this direction because my teammate died. So that's my cue. And there's a lot of footsteps here. So I go ahead and take out that guy. I'm going to come up these stairs and I'm going to quickly check every angle because now I know how these guys play. These guys are pretty smart. So I'm going to try to play as sneaky and stealthy as I possibly can and stay on this streak. So the reason why I'm up here is because again i want to look into their spawn i know for a fact that they're not spawning in behind me because i was just in that area so that only leaves the enemies to be in this area um basically from the outside looking in and as you can see there was an enemy who popped up i'm looking at the market rooftops there is somebody there as well according to my theory which proves right now i'm able to get more information thanks to the uav now i hear some footsteps in this area i'm not sure if i'm just hearing things or not but it's always a good idea to go ahead and check your surrounding areas for those players who might be using ghost so regardless even if i have uav it's always a good idea to play smart now that high ground allowed me to get that easy kill so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to advance to my plan which was going to be scouting the perimeter of their spawn so i'm checking their spawns i'm checking lines of sight i'm looking at what's going on in the market rooftops i did notice that there was an enemy over here those red footsteps are a dead giveaway so i was investigating i think my teammates took him out thanks to those red skulls that you see around the map so I was able to pick up a kill as well. Now I'm going to be scouting the perimeter of their spawn, just like I was trying to earlier to get those easy kills. And now I pick up a couple kills here and I'm being shot. Somebody is just camping in their spawn. So that tells me that it's not a good idea to be in that area. Whenever those things do happen to you, it's always a good idea to just remove yourself from that situation and rotate around the map and just find a different engagement that will put you at an advantage. Now, the reason why I look behind me is because that part of the map is not being inhabited by my teammates as you can see they're all behind me so that means i need to be alert and direct my attention to this part of the map and just be aware and ready at all times that's why you see me looking back and forth in each direction just to make sure that i don't get flanked so that's how i was able to pick off that guy so what i'm doing is i'm pre-aiming over there and i'm pre-aiming into the ruins area they threw that gas grenade so obviously the enemies are approaching so i come up here for a different vantage point i do notice that there was a red dot right here on the mini map so i make that connection and i'm able to take out this enemy here who has a really bad view of me and he probably didn't see me there so that's why i was able to pick up that kill now i've got my white phosphorus and i also do notice that there was an enemy right here on my mini map that's why i went ahead and turned around and took him out and he had no idea as well so now i'm going to be doing the same thing i'm looking into their spawn i'm looking at where my teammates are on the mini map as you can see the enemies are coming in from here so i'm going to try to beat them to the spot i'm going to pre-aim down here i'm going to predict his movement and that grants me my advanced uav now i know exactly where they're at so i'm being shot here i just called in my advanced uav i do not want to die off my streak so what i'm going to do is i'm going to rotate because when you get kills it's always important to keep rotating your position because you never want to stay in the same spot enemies will eventually catch on to what you're doing and you're most likely going to get killed off of your streak so what I'm going to do here is a huge mistake. I'm going to push into their spawn. Yes, I would advocate doing that because we have the advanced UAV. What I do here that's a mistake is I open this door. As soon as I open this door, I should have gone straight ahead this way to be able to flank the enemy. But instead, I got a little excited and tried to challenge that guy you know i was thinking you know what i had the advanced uav he doesn't know where i'm at so at this point i'm gonna call in my white phosphorus you know what i need to help my team win it's a pretty close game at this point if you're running with the white phosphorus and you're using the advanced uav it's always a better idea to actually call in your advanced uav first and then call in your white phosphorus because with the white phosphorus it's a 50 50 it's either you see the enemies or you don't and as you can see it makes it really hard to see where enemies are because everything is just so hazy and that actually puts you at a disadvantage 
advantage. It slows down your playstyle. But if you were to have the advanced UAV up at the same time, you would actually be at a huge advantage because the enemies don't know where you're coming from, but you know exactly where they are. So that's a little tip that you guys can take away from this video. And it's definitely an adjustment I will make. I'm actually going to rotate into the construction site because look at where my teammates are right now. There's really nothing going on. That's why I went ahead and went into the construction site to see what is going on to investigate the situation. I'm going to pre-aim. I noticed these footsteps on the floor. So they're obviously going upstairs right here. So I'm going to pre-aim and I'm going to take this guy out. There's one more guy in the corner. I'm going to quickly turn around drop shot to get the easy kill. Now, let me replay that one more time. So I'm going to take this guy out as I'm running up. And then as you can see at the last second, I noticed this guy right here in the corner. So I'm going to quickly cut the corner to the left to allow me some time to get ready for this gunfight. And I'm going to quickly slide, drop shot. And as you can see, he pretty much was caught off guard. He was assuming I was going to be up there. That's why his bullets went above over my head. And that's why you should learn how to make your movement more advanced. If you guys need some help with that, I'll leave a clickable link on the screen that will show you how to accomplish that with the correct controller settings. Now, the reason why I'm directing my attention up here is because I was previously spotted and a grenade was thrown at me. But I also noticed this red skull here indicating that the enemy was was taken out by my teammates so that's why i'm no longer worried about that little engagement right there so here's where i continue with my strategy based on the positioning of where my teammates are in the minimap right now look how far they are from me at this point they're pretty much back in their spawn so that must mean that the enemies are holding them in the opposite side of the map from me right now so i'm basically all alone they have no idea where i'm at so this allows me to continue and be as stealthy as possible i also did run my dead silence just in case so they don't hear my footsteps and i was able to pick up a stray here and i did manage to get my uav and what i'm going to do is i'm again going to patrol the outskirts of their spawn and check every line of sight for other enemies that might be using the ghost perk as you can see there i did take someone out now i'm pre-aiming down this line of sight because i do notice on my minimap that there is an enemy down here so i'm going to wait for him to pop out and it just doesn't make sense at that point for me to go ahead and push the spawn because there's just so much going on right now i want to see what my teammates are doing now that i know from the uav that the enemies are here in the ruins area and where my teammates are it is a good opportunity for me to go ahead and flank so that's why i went ahead and reloaded i popped on my dead sound so that they can't hear my footsteps once again and i also noticed this guy on my mini map and instead of pushing for it right away i'm gonna wait for him to appear and i'm gonna get the easy kill now my teammate in front of me just died so that's why i didn't proceed to go that way and plus it's not a good idea to go that way anyway for people who are head glitching in that area so my thought process at this point is to try to go around and try to flank whoever killed my teammate. But I also do want to close this door so that I don't get shot from behind because these guys, they're positioned really well. And now that forces me to go back into the ruins area. Maybe I'm getting a little greedy here and hoping to get a kill. But unfortunately, I got pinched right there. So now that I know where most of the enemy team is, I'm going to make my way back to that area. But I'm going to try to be a little bit more cautious and try to be a little bit more tricky. So I'm going to open this door. I'm going to fake them out. And I'm going to climb up this ladder. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to look down into the ruins area because that's where I last knew they were. And I was able to get a kill right there as well. So I've popped on my dead silence once again because I'm assuming that this is the area where the enemies are going to be. And I don't want them to hear my footsteps. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to slide cancel. And, you know, I usually would get those kills. But unfortunately, this man was using a shotgun. So in a close quarter combat situation, the person with the shotgun is most likely going to win. And there's really nothing you can do about it. So right here, I'm going to pre-aim down this line of sight. Again, they're in the ruins area like I was suspecting before. As you can see, this guy's head glitching. There's no way I'm going to win this gunfight. He's probably using something like a long range weapon. So I just don't want to take that chance. So I'm going to try to get a different angle. And on my way there, I'm going to check to make sure it's clear. This angle gives me a good advantage because he thinks that I'm still down there in that area. And by switching my location, quickly i'm able to get the kill so i noticed this guy down here i'm not able to get a clear shot on the guy so i use my equipment to my advantage i toss it and i'm able to get the easy kill with the c4 sometimes you got to think about those things you know use what you have to the best of their abilities to help you win situations i'm looking at the score right now 71 to 70 i really want to make that a larger lead for us so i'm being shot here and i'm going to quickly come up here for the head glitch i'm going to pre-aim into the window because that's how i knew where i was being shot from so i'm going to come around the corner i'm going to slide cancel take out this guy 
and this will grant us the win so as you can see i did struggle a little bit in this gameplay and we finished off with 26 kills which we still had the most kills on our team and also a 3.71 kd ratio you have to learn how to struggle in order to get better as a player that's how i personally got better it's all about perseverance that's what makes a good player a good player and what will help you overall moving forward if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more videos like this please leave a like on this video it will show me that this is the kind of content that you want to continue to see and subscribe if you're new around here make sure to join turbo nation today make it official and i would really appreciate if you guys would join me on this journey to 100,000 subscribers appreciate all the support and i will see you guys in the next video peace